Hello again from the Stockton San Joaquin Public Library. We are going to be talking about different e-resources today. The two e-resources we're going to be talking about are Hoopla and Overdrive. Both will allow you to access e-books and e-audiobooks from home. The easiest way to access them from your browser on your computer is to go to our website, ssjcpl.org. But please note if you are using a mobile device, including a phone or a tablet or iPad, these are both available as apps, Hoopla and Libby for OverDrive. So we are going to go to this bottom bar. This is quick links for very popular things on our website. So we are going to click the quick link for Hoopla right here, and that'll take you to this page, hoopladigital.com. If you've never used Hoopla before, it will prompt you to create an account. So you'll just click Get Started Today. You will need to enter your email address and create a password. From there, you'll need to find your library. Usually it'll have libraries near you, but you can enter any library within the San Stockton San Joaquin County Library System to find it. You'll also need your library card number and your PIN number. After you've done that, you'll be redirected to this page, the Stockton San Joaquin County Public Library. If you look down here, it'll tell you if you have anything currently out and checked out. And it'll also tell you how many titles you have left to borrow. So with Hoopla, you get four borrows per month. Hoopla is a little bit non-traditional in the sense that everything is immediately available. There's no waiting, no holds, no fines, no anything. So you, there's quite a few different things, as you can kind of see in this bar here, that you can do. If you click Browse, these are the things that are available on Hoopla. Audiobooks, movies, music, comics or graphic novels, ebooks, and even TV. But we are going to be searching for a specific ebook today. Uh, this is the search bar here, so we're going to click here. You can narrow your search by clicking this drop down bar, but I'm going to leave it on everything. And the ebook we are searching for is a teen one called With the Fire on High. Cool. So as you can see, there is the audiobook version and the ebook version. We want the ebook version. So here's this title page. It'll give you the publication date, who it's published by, and how many pages it is. The authors here, if you click on the author, it'll take you to a page with all of the books she's written that are available on Hoopla. It'll also give you a rating. As you can see, people really enjoy this title on Hoopla. If you don't want to read it right now, you can click this little heart, and that'll add it to your favorites. So if you go to the My Hoopla, it'll be right under here waiting for you the next time you would like it. And if you're ready, you can go ahead and click Borrow. So right here, down here, it says this title is available for 21 days after you borrow it. That is true of all ebooks, e-audiobooks, and comics, graphic novels. However, music, movies, and television will have their own borrowing limits, but it will always let you know on that title page. And everything is available to stream and download on your browser, on your computer, or on your phone or tablet. If you ever want to get back to that home page that we started at, you'll just click the Hoopla icon here and that'll take you right back to it. Okay, so the next e-resource we're going to be talking about is Overdrive or Libby if you're using a phone on the app. Um, we can get that quick menu bar right down here and it's going to be this O right here. So you'll click on it and that'll direct you here. You will need your library card number and your PIN once again. Once you enter that information, it'll look kind of like this. Um, so Overdrive or Libby has done kind of a couple cool different things. They do have these big library reads every month. So they have a certain number of avail options available for you to check out. You can talk about them in book discussions. You can listen to interviews with the author. Uh, things like that. They also have different little kind of browsing sections. 
So this is the lucky day section. So these are really high interest reads that are immediately available for you. They also have um, kind of like little funny browsing things, St. Patrick's Day, crafting, um, starting a series, and things like that. So you're welcome to take a quick peek through those. It's always fun to look at. But we are going to be looking for a specific book once again. So this is the search bar. So just click on it. And we are going to be looking for little fires everywhere. And as you can see, this, unlike Hoopla, is more of a traditional library space. So you will oftentimes have to put a hold on an item and wait for it. So in this case, we would have to put a hold on it. But say you're not really looking for anything specific and you want something that's immediately available to you, the easiest way to do that is to go to subjects. So I am going to choose ebooks and then I am in the mood for a mystery. So I'm going to click on mystery. And under availability, it'll say available now. You'll go ahead and click on that. And these are all ebook mysteries that are available to you right now. So if you don't want to read something right now, but you want to save it because you may not remember the title like myself, <laughs> you'll click this little ribbon here and that'll add it to your wish list. Under you, it'll be under your account right here. But if you're ready, you can go ahead and click borrow. Please note this little drop down menu. The default, I believe, is seven days, so you'll just want to make sure to choose whatever works best for you. I like to pick 21 days, and then borrow. Like Hoopla, Overdrive, Libby, no fines or anything like that. And if you ever want to get back to the main page that we started at, you'll just click on the library logo here, and that'll take you straight back. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of these two wonderful e-resources and that you enjoy them. Thank you so much. And stay tuned for a new video about how you can chat with others about these books you found using these two resources, Hoopla and Overdrive, on our online book club on Goodreads for SSJCPO.